So during the trip, I've been reading this book about ancient Indian street magic and this tribe of street magicians who have passed their secrets from generation to generation for over 3,000 years. Yesterday, in a slum outside New Delhi called Shadapur Depot, I found them. This is a mitt. Ready? He runs a non-profit that supports writers and poets, and he's actually the poet laureate of New Delhi. I met him a few days ago, and when he learned that I intended to travel into the slums to find these magicians, he offered to come along. You know, there's this fine American phrase. It's pithy, it's to the point. Uh, the expression, oh shit. Um, Shadipur Depot has a whole new meaning to that expression. Suddenly you know what it means. So we just arrived in Shadipur Depot. When the government began to crack down on street performing, the street performers were forced into the slums, and most of the magicians came here. You go to a place where a child is studying right next to the lavatory, and he's going to school, and getting grades, and on the other side of the lavatory, a mother's cooking food. It's a complete invasion of your entire aesthetic sensibility. And there's no way you can come out of that without, it's like going through one of Dante's books, you know, and realize, my God, what a divine comedy this existence in this country is. So I've just met Ishamuddin Khan. He's one of the greatest magicians in all of India. He's the leader of this tribe of street performers, and he's agreed to talk with me about magic. They, these are, uh, though we are Muslims, but we do magic, and magic is totally uh, not allowed in, in the Muslims and Islam. But the, since 3,000 years, the only, the magicians in India are Muslims. They do magic. I asked why magic was so important to him. Magic of knowledge, magic of experience, magic of learning, magic of meeting different peoples, everything is magic. The real magic is your hard work. If you do hard work, that, that will show you magic. If you'll be lazy, then no magic. Ishamuddin took us to meet his father, an 83-year-old man who came out of retirement just for us to perform his traditional Indian magic act one last time. I don't want to overstate this, but by now I know how most magic tricks work, and this was one of the most amazing things I have ever seen. He just breathes fire. Um, what else do you have to say after that? This is incredible. We just got a private magic show on a rooftop here, and everyone showed me their magic, and it was. Uh, it was great. I don't get to sit in the audience at a magic show very often, so this was, this was worth it. We didn't do anything else and traveled for however long we've been traveling to get halfway around the world just to see this. It would have been worth it. It was, it was really great. Thank you. Once I felt in my life, really I, like a, the wow come out really from my voice when I, when I saw the Milky Way by the telescope, the constellation of the whole star. And I feel really the magic of the nature. The milk with the full of the stars and that the few seconds I will hold my breath and say, wow, that's the magic. And what a paradox the human condition is and human strength because 
And despite all that deprivation and poverty, people still have a life. I wrote this poem. Um, it's, 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 it's very rough. Just a sketch of a poem, really. But it's on the subject of magic, and I thought I'd share it with you. Magic. Bless the magician for knowing something I don't. The appearance and disappearance of the artifacts of this material world give me an island moment of unknowing, a mystery that gives me relief from the consuming need to question everything and then to answer it. Chumantar, abracadabra, now you see it, now you don't. There are things you don't want to know, and indeed you won't. In the not knowing lies the relief from the heavy cross of curiosity. Each magic trick you perform is a nail removed from the crucifix of knowing. The whole, this, this is an incredible country. I mean, look at this, it's just beautiful. Um, but uh, finding magicians who have anything to say to me has just been, I mean, sometimes it's great, sometimes I can't, they won't have, they won't talk with me, sometimes I can't understand them. Uh, and even just the basic, on the ground, getting from point A to point B, has been way, way more difficult than I expected. But it, it's been an incredible experience. I, I don't even know what to say. I mean, I'm in the middle of it right now. I don't know what to say about it, but uh, I'm glad to be here. I think it's the right thing to do. And I guess if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. There'd just be a magician over there on that roof telling the camera what he thought about it. All right, I'm done. <laughs> Thanks for watching.